Well, hello there, Skywinders. Welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at these. These are all OBD2 um, Bluetooth scan tools, as you can see, and you probably already know. So I've been testing these and I've done reviews on these, and you probably wonder which one should you get? And after testing these a lot, I can say that for the most part, they are all just code readers. They mainly read your trouble codes. And unlike the older scan tools that connect to your uh, connect through a wire, this ones go a little bit further. They don't just check the OBD2 codes, but they also look at the manufacturer codes. So all these three can do that. They can check the OBD2 codes for your um, inspection test. But they also check the uh, manufacturer codes that go beyond the emissions test. So let's start with the cheapest one. The one on the left is the cheapest one. This one's intermediate and this one's expensive. So this one on the left is um, probably the simplest and the... It is the cheapest and they, they um, it's not the... It's not impressive at all, but it does the job. I mean, if all you want to do is check the codes, it does the job. So it does have graphing. So not all of them have graphing, but this one on the left, the VPIC, has graphing. It does not have a dedicated app. So you can go on, uh, not online, but uh, on the App Store, either the, the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and find apps that work that are compatible for this device and not every single app will work with it but you're just gonna have to look around and um, this one unlike most of them this one actually has a carry case let's take a look at that so I do like that about it even though it's the least polished one it does have a carry case unfortunately it's black so it's easy to lose it in the dark but it's nice the other ones, even though they're more expensive, they do not have the carry case. So it's kind of like a jewel, like a Rolex watch. So it has that carry case and you can choose different apps. So again, the one thing that does make it a little bit special is that it has graphing and graphing is important. And if you're into mechanics, you know why graphing is important, especially with the oxygen sensors, you wanna graph it and kind of take a look at it and there are other things many other things that where you need to graph I'm not gonna get into detail because I'm only reviewing these three and I'm doing a, a compare and contrast so that's pretty good about it what doesn't it have it does not have um, for example a battery test doesn't really have an alternator neither of these have an alternator test but you don't really need it because most cars will automatically tell you when the alternator is not working but it, it it doesn't test your battery so that's bad I wish it did there are means to do it but it, it just doesn't have it at least not the three apps that I've tested on this device so let's move on to the second one which is the blue driver and definitely one of my favorites because it does a lot and by far the the best thing about the blue driver the blue driver pro scan tool is that it has a very good graphing system and what I mean by that is that if you look on the left the um, VPIC it does have graphing at least the apps they do have graphing but they're in, in, instantaneous graph what what that means is that it shows a graph of what's happening for the last maybe 10 seconds and then the graph keeps moving out of out of view this one has a graph that's a lifetime graph so it just keeps when you turn when you start graphing you see the entire graph and you see the waves and then the waves just keep compressing and compressing and compressing but the but the very first set millisecond that appeared doesn't doesn't disappear from the view so after five minutes you look at the entire graph for five minutes you're not just looking for the last 10 seconds if you've been graphing for if you've been testing your engine for five minutes you're not going to be looking at the last 10 seconds you're going to be looking at the last five minutes of your test so that's amazing and we're going to take a look at that because I think that's very unique. I haven't seen that anywhere else. I've tested, I've tested other scan tools like the wired ones that do have graphing but they do not have that. So if I'm not mistaken this thing can graph four, four at a time or, or 
yeah i believe it can grab four at a time or maybe two i'm not sure that doesn't really matter the most you need is just two graph two things at a time so we said it was um it has very good graphs and i spent a lot of time talking about that because it's very nice very um very well done so it beats the other ones on that it does have problem insight so basically you can um ask a question to you know send them an email or get into a chat or even give them a call if you can uh i'm sure there's going to be a long wait but it does they do have customer support also when you have a problem code they usually do have solution tips based on the users that submit their solutions They'll tell you what the most common solution is and what the second most common solution is. They'll also have a graph and they'll tell you how how um, frequent that problem is for that specific uh, model uh, car, for that specific car in that model. So it gives you a lot of DTC info. So not only is it on the app, but you can also go on YouTube and they'll tell you, um, the people that work for them, their expert mechanics will tell you how to diagnose things like a uh, oxygen sensors and um, catalytic converter using the graphing and it, like I said it does have very good graph so you're gonna like that so I, I do like the fact that they help you out or at least they try to help you out by not just giving you this just gives you raw data that you um, you have to figure out what it means but this they give you some insight uh, what the what the problem codes are and what the possible solution might be and they also give you links which i forgot to write down here but they do have links to the um items that other users have bought to fix the problem for example if you have a code that uh, that's an, about an oxygen sensor they'll have a link to that oxygen sensor if the problem is a catalytic converter they'll have a link to that catalytic converter if it's a map sensor, same thing. They'll have a link. And that's usually, they'll send you to Amazon. So, and these days, everybody buys at Amazon. So, I think that's very helpful. So, you get a lot of insight of what the problem is. This just gives you raw data. So, this, they help you out to understand what's going on with your, with your car. It does not have a carry case. Like I said, the one on the left, the B-Pick, is the only one that has a carry case. They do have some generic carry case online, but they range from 10 to almost $20. So that's almost the same price as the device itself. So it's kind of sad that they didn't include this. So that was number two, the blue driver. So it's very good. And that takes us to number three. This is the um, X-Tool Advancer Pro. The, I believe it's called the AD, AD20 Pro. So by far, this has the coolest app. If you go into the app, they all work with an app, of course, but this has the coolest app, the most streamlined, the most sophisticated, very pleasant, very satisfying to look at. You, you almost feel like plugging it into your car and scanning it just for fun because it's so, so modern, very modern, very streamlined, polished, very well done it's kind of like the difference between an android cheap android phone and an iphone like the latest iphone very very well done very polished it does have problems though i shouldn't call them problems it does have um cons it does not have any graphing so i guess whoever designed this did not meant it to be used by a mechanic they just meant it for uh, regular people so there are no graphs so that's kind of sad in in a way, but I guess the idea is that you're not gonna fix your car with this, but rather get some insight as to what's wrong and um, have an idea. So unlike the blue driver that um, you can connect to a customer support or it'll give you some uh, information about possible solutions and possible uh, links to uh, Amazon where you can buy parts for that problem. This doesn't give you any of that. So it, this just gives you the information, basically the raw data, um, as far as what is going on. It'll give you a code. 
it'll um, might give you a mini defi- mini explanation of what that code is about. Not a lot. I mean, you're definitely gonna have to do your homework. Unlike the blue driver, that's basically giving you a little, doing a little, doing the homework for you. The X tool just gives you the plain data. Now, it does have some component tests, and I've tested them all. And uh, the first component will be the battery. I think that's a very important one. It does have that test, and it does work. It's a simple test. It won't give you the life, uh, the health of the battery, but it'll tell you if it's good or not. So basically, if it's bad, you need to go change it. It can also take a look at the math sensor. And um, it'll tell you if it's working or not, or if it needs cleaning. That's good. It's not all vehicles are supported for the math, sen- uh, math sensor. It'll also give you the trim. So it'll put it on plain terms. If you if you see um, trim, like long-term fuel trim or short-term fuel trim, most people don't know what that is, but this will make it simple for you and put it on, on basic language, simple language that everybody can understand. It'll tell you your trim level, if it's very high and, and there's something wrong with your car, if it's very low, or if it's in the negative, it's a rich situation or a lean situation, it does have that. And I forgot to mention the... Um, the throttle test so it'll test the throttle for um, I believe they call it carbon deposits or something like that so it'll measure the um, the what's it called the throttle the throttle flap and see how much it opens and closes and based on that it'll tell you if it's dirty or not and if it's dirty well you have to you're gonna want to clean it and that's a, that's a different video and a different conversation, but it does have that component test. So overall, which one should you get? There isn't one that I prefer, um, but if I had to choose, probably would be this one. I'm kind of split between this one and this one. This one's so polished and so nice and has those three component tests which I think are are very valuable. But in the end, this, um, the fact that you can get customers, theoretically you can get customer service and it gives you a product links to Amazon, which you can do by yourself. You don't really need this, but um, the fact that it's right there for you, very simple. I think this is very helpful. So um, I would think that this is number one. I'll say this one, uh, I don't know about number two. I guess um, if you're a mechanic or if you want to actually work on your car, this would be number two. If you're not a mechanic and you're not going to work in your car, then this would be number two. It really depends on who you are and what you're doing um, because this one's not meant for mechanics. This one's meant to be absolutely cool and you're gonna wanna be using it. It's so fun to use. Um, but um, this one has the graphing, so I'm kind of divide. that's the problem. This one, they could have made this one so much better by adding graphing, but it, it doesn't have graphing. Well, thank you for watching, subscribe and thumbs up.